Well, ahoy boy, and welcome back to another video. A little bit of a different one as we're finally out of the bedroom and go around to the house. But what we're doing today, no, it's not going to be taking a piss out of someone on Twitter, on YouTube. We're going to be doing a bit of cooking because I'm a tad shit. But you know what? I'm going to show you how to make some good steak, chips, onion ring, and I will have it with a good old British cup of tea. So let's get the fuck into it. Firstly, you've obviously got to preheat the oven. Obviously, give five, ten minutes to make sure it hits the correct temperature. And then, because, let's be honest, my wash time is about 30 seconds, I pre-prepared some chips. Pre-prepared some chips, as I said. But this goes in first, these take about 20 minutes. So you can let that go through, and then we're going to have a go and play with some dogs. See, we don't clickbait dogs, but on the channel here, we've actually got one. So you might have seen on my rating dogs, this is Millie. Uh, she, I have no clue how, oh, well, she, she's a chihuahua, uh, mixed with a Jack Russell. Hi, chihuahua beauty. Hey, chihuahua. Yes, chihuahua. Goody, good to go. See, absolutely lovely stuff and a great pastime if you do have a pet, just to pet them for a bit because we don't have to wait a while to put the onion rings then inside. Right, so it has been a couple of minutes, to say about 10 minutes just now, so it's time to take out the chips and I'm not going to be an absolute idiot to you. Who the fuck knows how to make onion rings? I am not Gordon Ramsay, therefore we're using Morrison's fucking specials. Other places do apply, but uh, Morrison's aren't just the best. So we do a little splitter. I thought it was a lovely one, and we love a little dick one. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I've genuinely got like this thick and bald. But we take it as a onion ring, and that's as a good one. So this now goes inside, and what we're going to do after this, we're going to go make some show you how to make some good old British tea. It's time to show how to make some good old British tea. So once your kettle has stopped boiling, and it should be pretty much to the brim now, we start to put in your tea bag. Boom, lovely tea bag goes into your mug. I've gone south part for this one. Lovely stuff. Then, and this is a controversial one, but it's fucking best. So I only do this for myself. You put the milk in next. Tea bag milk, only a splash, lovely stuff. Fish, splash. Watch, milk done, then in goes the water. So you don't have to worry about leaving room for the milk because the milk is already in. You put it to there, lovely stuff. Boom, and so I did not get a spoon out. Here's some spoon, here's some sugar. Boom, there you go. I'm an unhealthy boy, therefore, you take two spoons of sugar, you put it around, we give it a little toast, we put it around, boom, there we go, there we go, let it drain, let it drain, push the sides, push the sides, oh, and that has actually worked absolutely perfectly. Right, and this is the colour your tea should look, right, not pale, not dark, you want a bit in the middle, that is an absolute perfect cup of tea, that is the way you want it to be made. Milk always first, um, and then the water after. Lovely stuff. But let's get ready for the steak. Right, it's now time for the steak. A lovely Morrison's steak. So, I can't remember how you get into these things, but I believe it's just basically through there. That's really uncomfortable. Good. How the fuck do you get into this? No, like seriously, how the fuck do you actually get into this? Well, I thought I knew this, that's why I was quite confident going into this. Ah, okay, we'll find a bit. Let's use a knife. Cut through, cut through. There we go, ooh. Obviously, make sure you do wash your hands. Because we don't want no nasties. Because it is obviously still COVID time, so you should still wash your hands, and this is food. Come on, there we go. Open up, open up. This is more of a struggle than I genuinely thought was going to be a fucking movie, you piece of shit. Go on. There you go, you lovely bit of meat. Hi, I'm stupid. Hi, I'm stupid. With the steak now lovely and oiled, 
we're gonna put some salt in to get to the Obviously, again, rub it, and you rub it on this side as well. So you get a bit of lovely and everywhere, nice, oiled and salted, lovely. That is what you call seasoning. Right, so the lighting in the kitchen is starting to turn a little bit shit, let's be honest. But it's okay, it's now time to start the cooking, so we're going to put the heat on. Try again, there we go, light, 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 light. Lovely stuff, put that in. What's that? Oh, you don't think there's enough oil? Ooh. You put a bit, oh god, that's probably a bit too much. But we do this and then we go around. We let that heat up for a bit. Let that heat. That's what we want. We want a bit of that heat to come through. Well, because of the lighting on the other side was really annoying me. We've now moved over to here, so you still have everything a little bit better and you can actually see it in a decent way. Um, I'm just see. Make sure that heats up. It's getting hot, it's getting hot. Just time for the steak. This is going, might go horrifically wrong, but let's see. Oh, that's what you love. Give me the sound. Oh, okay, well, it's not good. Turn it down, let's turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Oh god, I'm turning it down, there's a lot of smoke, there's a lot of smoke. Off, throwing up all. We're taking precautions <laughs> with the pack doll, we've got everything there. Um, we've opened this window there, yeah. so we are safe in case it goes. But, okay. Hello, Millie. Hello, here we go again. Hello, hello. She's going to get outside to go and get to fucking safety. Right. Okay, now we want to turn to the other side for a bit. Fine, let's get that, put on. Look at that, go on. See, not much to cook to oh, for the fuck is up of it. Yeah, there you go, that's it. Boom. And just like that, that is how you cook steak. Oh, I don't even fuck. Yeah, that's how you cook fucking steak. It looks great. <laughs> Again, no. Not again, not again, I just nearly had a smoke acting, but right, that's my that's my view, right? Let's uh, continue, let's see what happens. Let's, we've got time to let it rest for it, let it breathe. So I fucking open the back door and the window, so it's got time to breathe. Right, so the next bit is basically just to cut this down. We're gonna see how good it is. This is a proper steak knife. But it is cooked, that is nice to see. We're gonna cut it to bits. God, that is um yeah, there you go. See, not a very nice little bit of meat. Um it's not really meat, it's just a fat bit, so we'll go put that straight into the bin. Wash our hands and get ready to plate up. How could I forget? How could I forget? There's nothing to do with food without bringing up a 2013 mean, I think it's 2013. Of course, a bit of salt, a bit of sake. Oh, a little bit there. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. And there we go. Let's give it a test now. Right, so that's it. There it is. That is steak, chips, and onion rings. And let's see, let's try and get a nice bit of beef, of meat here. You know what? It's actually done all right. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs> if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe. Bit of a different video this week, but I thought I'd try something new. And of course, actually I nearly forgot my lovely British tea.
if you have enjoyed, obviously, like, sub, all social media are down below. But thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.